God cares who we sleep with because he cares about us. Who we sleep with matters to us. It affects us deeply. And so it would be unusual if God didn't care who we slept with. So the title of the book is, Why Does God Care Who I Sleep With? Which I think is one of the big questions we get asked today. And so I've written it because I care about the kinds of issues people are wrestling with. And this is one of the biggest reasons people would offer for not wanting to investigate Christianity. So it matters to me because I see it mattering so much to other people. Speaking publicly on this issue for the last several years has really given me a sense of where people are at and where the confusion is, where the questions are. And so really it's a book trying to introduce people to what Jesus thinks about these issues and why what he says is so compelling. One of the unique insights the Christian faith gives us is sex is something that's meant to be given and not taken. It's not that someone else has a sexuality that I take from to satisfy myself, but God has given me a sexuality that is meant to be a gift given to another person in a very particular context. One writer said that sex is a way of giving yourself to another person exclusively, fully, and permanently. Whereas we've turned it into something that we take from someone kind of fleetingly, temporarily, and cheaply. We've really turned it around from what it's designed to be, what it's designed to mean, and therefore what it's designed to do for us into to something that's almost a photo negative of that. That Christianity has sexual boundaries is not unique. Everyone has sexual boundaries. The question is, where do we draw those boundaries and what is the basis for drawing them there? And most people today would say, well, the only boundary really is consent and that the other person be an adult. Christianity believes in drawing the boundaries more carefully than that for the very simple reason that we believe that what undergirds everything Christians believe about sex and boundaries and all those kinds of things is a deep conviction that, that Jesus Christ is good. And therefore, if he is our creator, then he knows what is going to be best for us. And therefore, we want to live within the constraints he gives us, because those are going to be the constraints in which we can really flourish and live out our full humanity. And that actually contradicting his ways is going to diminish our humanity in one way or another. Writing this book made me more aware of the ways in which my own heart is naturally skewed on this issue. So I found it very challenging just personally. It was also actually encouraging. One of the chapters I really enjoyed writing was, what if I've messed up? Because it just reminded me that God is for sexually broken people. And so there's such reassuring safety in Jesus Christ that I really hope people will, will see that, even in the context of a difficult and sensitive area like this. And I hope it will make some people maybe even think about following Jesus for the first time.